Hi, it's me, Gabby, and I'm here to tell you about the difference solid ink can make for the planet for the last time. Wait, that didn't sound right. I'm still totally into solid ink and taking care of our planet and stuff, but I've been at this since I was, you know, a kid. And now that there's Color Cube and it's like a new generation of technology, I figured it was a good time to turn the story over to a new generation of Xerox kids as well. I started the search by posting some new research I did about Color Cube technology with the engineers out in Wilsonville, Oregon, where solid ink was invented. So I checked in with Jim Rise. Well, Gabby, you know Solid Ink was born here in Oregon, and we take our commitment to the environment very seriously. Solid Ink technology in general, and the Color Cube specifically, was designed from the ground up to minimize the environmental impact throughout the entire environmental life cycle. It starts with the ink itself. Solid Ink is cartridge free, so there are a lot fewer supplies. Then there's all the trucks that are needed to transport those supplies around the world. The difference is about seven to one. And unlike some printers, with solid ink you get brilliant, vibrant color on plain papers, on recycled papers, and on our Xerox high yield business paper, which is manufactured using just half the number of trees. We also looked at how we could save energy, and not just the electricity used to run the machine, the energy that's consumed over the entire life cycle and contributes to the carbon footprint. And here's how the numbers add up when you look at a color cube versus a comparable laser device over a four-year life cycle. 9% less total energy, 10% less greenhouse gases, and 90% less waste from all those consumables. Sounds good, but Jim is an engineer, and the way he puts things can be, well, kind of geeky. So I asked kids from around Xerox to send me their ideas. Here's a video made by a brother and sister named AJ and Rachel. When just one color cube replaces just one laser machine in just one office. A lot of things that are really great for our planet happen because some other things never happen. Like a pile of laser cartridges, packaging, and other garbage taller than the Statue of Liberty. But it never happens. So imagine if just a hundred color cubes replaced a hundred laser machines in just a hundred offices. Six hundred truck deliveries carrying 75,000 pounds of supplies, consuming thousands of gallons of fuel and emitting tons of greenhouse gas. Never happens. If a million laser machines around the world were replaced with color cubes, so much energy would be saved, it could provide a year's electricity to enough homes to house the entire population of San Francisco. So much greenhouse gas would not have been dumped into the air. It would be like 450,000 cars had been taken off the road. And that pile of laser consumable garbage would now stretch around the world. But it never has to happen. It starts with one. One person. One decision. One color cube. In one office. In one city. On one day. On, on our one, one planet. planet. Well, after I saw that, I knew that I could trust AJ and Rachel to carry the message of Solid Ink on for me. By the way, why are you guys so into Solid Ink? I guess it runs in the family. Right, Dad? That's right, Rachel. This is Gabby. And AJ. And Rachel. And Jim. Peace, Peace out. out.